everybody. It is Sunday afternoon and it's time to do this. I let, a, you know, I thought I would have had time, you know, yesterday, but then we took a very long drive down the Mississippi River, so I didn't have time to do anything by the time we got home. So that's just how it goes sometimes, right? So I want to see, this is the beginning of the insert for April, May, and June of this year. I haven't written anything here yet except my personal information. And then there's, um, I can write or put stuff here, but I, I haven't done it that yet. So I'm just leaving it free at the moment. So um, here we go, April 1st. And um, it was April Fool's Day, and I imagine most of us wish that the pandemic was an April Fool's, and we woke up in April, and it was just a big joke and wasn't really happening. But that's not the case, as we know. Anyway, it was Wednesday, and work uh, Monday and Tuesday work was pretty busy, and then Wednesday it slowed down a little bit, which was, which was nice, but not, it's still busy enough. It just wasn't crazy busy. And I'm working from home. And so I worked on uh, the newsletter for next month and social media posts and still not getting a whole lot of phone calls. Um, way, way down on the phone calls and the emails from normal, but you know, it's the times that we live in, right? I did watch the governor's press conference. They have a press conference um, with updates on the coronavirus in Minnesota. Um, every day about two o'clock and at that point there were 689 positive and 17 deaths I know that it has gone up now um, we are I'm thinking we're like in the 900s maybe and 24 deaths so or it's 800 close to 900 I think so every day it goes up um, about the same amount, so hopefully our social distancing is helping. And this week we'll find out if we're gonna ex if our governor is gonna extend the stay-at-home order because April 10th at 5 p.m. is when uh, it's supposed to come off. But um, I think we all have a feeling that it's not gonna happen that way, and we will keep doing this. So my husband got home around five. And um, I listened to the White House press conference then, which is always at 4.30. And it was, uh, we decided not to take a walk because I was pretty sore from Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday walking, and I really needed that little bit of a break. So we had some nachos for supper. Um, we actually made them with ground beef and chorizo mixed with a little bit of taco seasoning. And then we put... Um, I was trying to think, I think we put cheese in there and that was the base. And then we had them on tostadas instead of um, tortilla chips. And we watched Heartland and then Doug had his virtual men's meeting at seven. And I was gonna do a virtual chat with my best friend but um, she didn't have enough privacy so we just talked on the phone and we talked for almost an hour. So Doug finished about 8.15, so we went ahead and watched another episode of Heartland and read a, I read a little bit before bed. And that's kind of how my work days go. I throw in every now and then, throw in uh, a little bit of um, walk, take a walk or something. But generally speaking, um, there's not a whole lot going on that's for sure so I want to put this next to something pretty but I'm trying to get my color maybe this color let's try this I'm gonna put this washi down first and Spring is definitely on the way, uh, though it got to 57 that day. Fr 
Friday we regressed a little bit, but then like today, you know, and yesterday, um, bounced back to good weather. So that's always nice. Let me put a little bit of another tape right here. Okay. And then I want to put down a Dove chocolate. Um, it says, remember your first crush or trust with your heart, not your head. My husband gave this to me, so he's giving me Dove chocolates every now and then, which is really nice. So I am going to put this one down. All right, so let's just put it right here. There we go. All right, then over here, I wonder what my quote, where is my quote? Oh, I'm using it up here, let's see. Um, I think I'll go with this one. Trying to figure out which one I want here, and I think this one. This one says, strength doesn't come from what you can do. It comes from overcoming the things you once thought you couldn't do. So I'm going to put a little bit of some distress ink on here. Let me get out the blue one. Let's just use a Tim Holtz, and that is called um, Broken China. So I'm just gonna use this here because my it's getting a little thin. But I want to go ahead and we're just gonna cut this circle around here. I was commenting the other day in my journal the one where I just kind of write uh, my thoughts for the day and then things that help me, like mentally and emotionally get through the day. I write, write that sort of stuff in there, plus what I'm going through because of all of this and um, just what I'm feeling and thinking. And I started out one of them just like Saturday, not even Saturday, was it Friday or something? One of the days about how... I'm getting used to this as being the new normal for us. That this is really our new normal, isn't it? And the new normal is starting to feel normal. That's like, that's kind of how it's feeling. We're, we're developing our routine uh, where we happen to be and we're, you know, whatever our situation is, it has become, it's starting to almost become normal. Don't, don't you kind of feel like that? I mean, I do anyway, for some reason. All right, so let's put this down. But eventually this will end. It's just how long will we be you know, going through this, oh, look at that, get my hair cut in there before it does end, you know, how, how long are we going to have to, you know, how long is this new normal going to be our normal, right? And I know everybody is going to be so thankful for when it's over, but I hope we don't forget what we've been able to to learn during this time because we I think we're we're all learning coping methods at least I think we are I know I am learning coping methods so when this time is over how what would we have learned right and um And will we carry that over into 
our lives now, right? Is it gonna, is it gonna make a difference? Um, and hopefully so, right? I hope so. I hope it makes a difference. It should. Let's see, what do I want to put? I want that for my mom's thing. Let's put a daffodil. How about that? I'm trying to think what to put up here. Let's put a, a daffodil. Spring is on the way. <laughs> then Thursday, got up to 60 degrees, yay. And work started out pretty slow, and I thought, oh my gosh, this day is going to drag. And so I went I went through my food cupboards and my fridge and all my food stuff and tossed out some old stuff and re and organized a little bit. Excuse me, a little bit. And then work got busy for a couple of hours. Minnesota governor spoke again at 2. Um... And work was just slow from then on, really. And then when Doug got home at 4.30, we went for a 30-minute walk before supper. And we had, we had uh, when I was cleaning out, I found some stuff I had that I wanted to use. So we had some of those instant packages you put in the microwave of teriyaki noodles. And then we had a jar of a curry sauce. So we, fry, we cooked up some pork in little cubes, put a little bit of curry sauce on that. And then we cooked up the noodles and added the teriyaki sauce and then we mixed it all together and it was really good it really turned out good i was pretty happy about that we watched an episode of jack ryan and a couple episodes of heartland and then i just read the rest of the evening my usual my usual excitement for the day right <laughs> not a lot of excitement and so I'm gonna put this one here. This is another one from my husband. Remember your first crush? So cute. So I'm just gonna sit that in here. And maybe I need something, a background. Let me see what I can put for my background on this one. How about this? How about I put this here and put that there? I like that. This is another Allie Brown. I'm getting, I'm using them up. I'm trying to use them up and I'm getting there. Every one that I got from her, I printed two copies off. So I, um, I have, I've slowly been using them and I feel like it's, you know, I'm finally starting to get there so that's good all right i'm gonna put on some ugh, washi tape here we go something that sort of goes along with that color i can find the end oh i feel it there we go there it is i just kind of want to um a little bit here for that base to be on. <sighs> I started doing um, some live videos trying to talk about what I am doing to get through this time in hopes that it encourages other people. It's mostly faith-based type Facebook live sharing. So if you want to see that, um, you can see it on my personal um, Facebook channel, which is um, just Terry O'Byrne Cojetten. So if you just look even I think if you put it bring up Terry Cojetten you will find uh you will find I'll pop up as Terry O'Byrne Cojetten and um you can watch there but like I said they're not they're not uh journaling videos or anything like that they're really talking trying to help tell people what I've been going through 
um, emotionally and sharing the things that have helped me in hopes that it will help other people. So feel free to do that. And if you can't watch it, you need to send me a friend request. That's okay. I will go ahead and do that, you know, the request. Um, what do I want to put here? Got this space. <laughs> Let me see what my other stickers are. Maybe I can find something cool. Hmm, I mean, kind of that, but it's a little bit on the small side. Oh, maybe here, oh, here, I really like this one. How about this one? This one's really pretty. Let's do this one. There we go. And it's just a list. So maybe I'll take my words and put something there. Let me see. Maybe I'll just put some of these. I don't know if these will show up, so let me see. Ah, oh, they do. That says, keep it real. Um, this one says, just be. This one says, remember. And... This one says, now what? There. This kind of fills it out a little bit. That's all I wanted to do there. Um, let's see what else. I'm liking the purple, so maybe I'll put this purple thinking of you in here. And I'll just put that right there. Okay, and then let's put, I've got my owls, so maybe, I don't usually have so much trouble with this, what the heck, oh, here we go, I feel like the owl is the, the owls are the right color for this, so let's just put the owls right there. And right there. Okay, that was super crooked. Let's see if we can do that a little better, huh? There we go. And then I just have to put something here. So let me see. I'm liking the purple. It's kind of it's pretty. How about a purple flower? like this. Kind of just want to keep that purple going, right? And one more thing. Let me go to my hearts. And I have I just want to put let's put this in here. There we go. Alright. Let's do that. Okay, and then Friday, 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 winter tried to return. It gave a little bit, uh, it snowed a little bit more south of us. We had, uh, it got up to 30 degrees and it was windy and we had rain and sleet and snow off and on. It was kind of crazy, but, and this was the day of course that I had to go and work. So on Fridays, I go into the office from eight till noon. Um, just uh, my, my boss isn't in that day. Um, it's very few, pe very few of the few people, it's even less on that day. And so um, I just catch up on any paperwork they couldn't send me that's on my desk. I just catch that up and do that. So 
um, that's what I did. And it wasn't too busy. It was busy maybe for three hours and then it just kind of calmed down. So when it calmed down, I ran out to Caribou and I got a coffee and a pastry. So, yeah. That was about it. Nothing too exciting, believe me. And I know it's caribou, and this is not caribou, but it's it's Einstein bagels and caribou. So, <laughs> I think I'm gonna just do this like this, fighting the good food fight. <laughs> and I'm going to just put part of it down and uh, not worry about it. So I'll just go like this and I'll put this here. And actually, um, probably I should just do this. I can do it like this and I can put that good word up there. So let's go like this. And then I'll just um, just take my glue stick and get the parts that didn't stick well. And I'll just glue those down. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that word good up here. Fighting the good food fight. And I think that will work, right? All right, let me try that. Okay. Fighting the good food fight. Okay, and then this is what I got. Um, a cinnamon chip muffin, and then I got something to drink. So that was that. Was that. Um, and then I was gonna put like this little coffee, coffee thing there. So maybe I'll do that. Let's put that here. Okay, there we go. Then I just gotta put something here. Um, what color? Maybe use this one in a while. Let's use this one. Here we go. I think that would be pretty. A little bit of color to this book. So anyway, I went into work, um, like I said, and then after work, because um, I got off at noon, I watched the governor's press conference, and then I read until Doug got home at 3. And then when he got home, we drove down to get our groceries. Um, we got gas. Uh, we got groceries for us and for a friend who who is afraid to go out because she's more vulnerable. So we, my best friend really, and uh, we got groceries for her and for us. And we stopped at Aldi's and got some more groceries for her. And we dropped them off at her place. And then we went back to Aldi's and Doug got our groceries. And then we went home. <laughs> We got home at five o'clock, so we watched Heartland and we had corn dogs and fries for supper because we had them in the fridge and um, did dishes. And then we watched a movie we had rent rented called The Current War. And that was about um, the war for electricity, giving electricity to the houses in the United States between uh, Edison and Westinghouse. So it was a really good movie. But partway through the movie, the fire alarms in our building went off. So we decided, okay, we're gonna go run down to Cub to look for cornmeal, because we couldn't find cornmeal at Walmart. So Doug couldn't find cornmeal there, but Rachel called while he was in the store and said she needed flour for a friend who couldn't find flour. So he there was flour, so he picked up one. We took that over to Rachel's house and dropped it off got back to the apartment and finished our movie and um and then we just relaxed the rest of the evening we just you know didn't do a whole lot so that was that exciting exciting day not a lot right not a lot going on yep oops i just want to do a 
a little bit here. So I'll just put that there. Maybe I can make this a little smaller so we're not interrupting into the words. There we go. And I'll put a little bit of blue on the edges. Yeah, and because it was so cold on Friday, we didn't go we didn't go for a walk. I was like, we're just no thanks. We're just gonna stay where we are. <laughs> Too cold out there. And thankfully it was very short lived and really just just that day, so that's that was good because it can get to be ugh, quite a bit. This is way too sticky. So I'm going to just put that there. So that was that. And let me check how many minutes we got going here 26. So I kind of want to do Saturdays. I have a little bit of space and I wanted to use it. Um, Saturday was uh, an interesting day for me. Um, I woke up and I was having my quiet time and I just got all melancholy and sad and thinking about my mom and wishing she was alive and I could talk to her. She passed away. April 23rd, 11 years ago it will be on April 23rd. And also, I miscarried our first child way back in 1983 on April 11th. So sometimes April gets to me, but not always, just sometimes. And uh, this time it did, it did get to me. I, w I think being in this social isolation just does that and I just really wanted to be able to, I just wished I could pick up the phone and talk to my mom, but that's not possible. Because that's the only way we're communicating these days and so it just, you know, brought to mind uh, that she wasn't there for me to talk with. So that kind of hung over my head a little bit for a fair portion of the day and then I was feeling anxious and um, did the things that help me when I'm feeling anxious. I uh, breathe and I pray and I read the word, the Bible, and um, those things, those things help me. So that's what I did. Um, let me get this off of here. And so then we, Doug made breakfast, a nice big breakfast of bacon and hash brown and eggs. And then we cleaned up and then we went to, um, a long drive. Actually, we were out for like six hours. We drove over to the Mississippi River that borders, um, Wisconsin and Minnesota. And so we went to Red Wing and crossed over to the Wisconsin side. And there's also bald eagles in that whole area. So we saw a few bald eagles. And we just drove through the little towns um, along the river on the Wisconsin side. And then we crossed over into Wabasha. We had lunch at Dairy Queen and went to an Outlook and ate our lunch there over uh, Lake Pepin. It was really very nice. Or that wasn't Lake Pepin at that point. Or was it? I think it might have still been. I can't remember. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. And then we headed back north to Red Wing. And at Red Wing, gas was the lowest I have seen it in years. And even in the city, I haven't seen gas at these prices. And gas was actually... Um, 99 cents. A gallon. I was just like, whoa. So we got gas. <laughs> For sure. And then we got back home. Oh man. Must have been like, yeah, a little after five. And Doug took a walk and I painted a heart. 
watercolor heart, and then we had, I made a chicken pasta dish for supper. Um, it was simple. I just, we cooked up, uh, cut up chicken small and cooked it. And I cooked it with Italian seasoning and then, um, yeah, salt and pepper. And then what I did is I put in um, sour cream, the Mexican table cream, um, milk, parsley, um, and chopped up yellow bell pepper and cooked all that together, made a nice sauce. Before I put all those things in, I, I put sprinkled some flour on the chicken and cooked that up. And then once you do that, it coats the chicken. And then when you put in liquid, it thickens. So we had that over some flat pasta noodles for our supper. And we watched a whole bunch of Heartland episodes. We watched like three episodes of Heartland. And then we just relaxed, read, Got to bed by 11 o'clock, and that was our day yesterday. And um, I'm not gonna do, I'm not done yet with today's, but um, I put this here because this was my mom's favorite flower, Lily of the Valley, and so I put it with a heart, but kind of goes more for that day, but I ran out of space. So that's been the past few days, the first few days of April, I should say. And um, I think they were, I think they were good days. Oh, I saw something I had wanted to put on here now. Do you think I can find it? Nope. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. I don't know. There was something in here I wanted to, to put and I can't, I cannot find it. Oh well, I think I'll put one of these stickers here. And yeah, we'll just do that since I'm not sure. All right, so there we go. I think we are done for today's journal process video and I hope that you enjoyed it and I th think I'm going to I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next probably should do some I've been working on my junk journals and I think I've got like I've been sewing trying to sew today because I wasn't home to be able to do any sewing yesterday so um, yeah I kind of had to kind of had to do that today so that was that's what that was. All right, so I'm just gonna take the pictures and I will slip it back in my traveler's notebook. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.